Hey, I'm Lex. Hi, I'm Mindy, and we're here to tell you about what it's like to be What's Up Wednesday coordinators. Uh, What's Up Wednesday was started uh, late last year. We wanted a video that we could show every week, and it started out as we were going to do like sports segments, but I thought that's not broad enough, you know, like we have more than sports at our school. I just wanted us to be silly, you know, because school is such a serious thing and sometimes we just need a laugh to get us through the day. We try to reach out to everybody as well as, you know, teachers, students, the rest of the staff, we try. And what I like most about being a What's Up Wednesday coordinator is just like the audience reaction. Like I love to see people get stoked, you know, like when people are all like, well, I want to see What's Up Wednesday. I get so excited and like happy inside. Sometimes What's Up Wednesday can be stressful because we have to try to make it adequate enough for everyone. You know, it sucks when the project isn't very good. It's not always like just our fault though. Like sometimes people don't turn in their stuff. It's a lot of fun to do. I like putting it together, like working with people. I like interviewing people I've met a lot of new people with it. Uh, it can be stressful, mostly like the organizing is pretty stressful because we have to like, I, I don't, it's just hard to crack down on people. Like I'm just not that kind of a person. I want to give you guys the best and if other people aren't giving their best, how am I supposed to give mine? I'll stay up till, I don't, it doesn't matter, 3 a.m. if I have to. I just want to make everybody happy. And it's nice to get positive feedback, but negative feedback is okay too. Because, you know, I know we're not perfect. We we have to grow. And we're trying. I feel like I feel like we're getting better as we go through the year and more people are starting to work harder and do better. I enjoy my job as a What's Up Wednesday coordinator because I like to edit and I think interviewing is really fun when people are willing to be interviewed and I think it's cool that we can put this whole thing together like there's nothing else like it in the school or anything, you know? Like, this is our thing. I just really love when people are, like, happy to see it, you know? Like, that's, that's exciting. Even I get happy to see it, and I, I make it. I know what's in it, and um, I just, it's like my child. Like, I love it. It's like, hey, everybody, look what I did. Come on. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> if, if it's negative feedback, I try to look at it as criticism. Like, at first, when I started this, you know, somebody just didn't like it, like I, I would get so upset. I'm like, why don't you like it? What can, what can I do to please you? Like, I try to please everybody, but we, we can't always. I just like when people are happy about it and I, I like positive feedback that makes me happy. What I like about being a What's Up Wednesday coordinator is editing. I really enjoy editing on Premiere. Um, I also like to see everyone's projects put together and finalized and I like ordering stuff and yeah, I just like to take a leadership role on it and make sure people get their stuff done. Like, if you collect something, if you have a cool job, like, if you have a bunch of animals or something, like, if you have something interesting or if you just want to be in one of our contests that we have, let us know because we are more than willing to take people. And if you have any ideas, like, let us know. We're always willing to take them. It's hard to find stuff to do projects on in such a small school. I hope that people enjoy it and when they do it just like if, if people don't like it then my whole Wednesday is just ruined but like a Wednesday is like my Friday you know like it, it's my happy day. I mean I'm pretty stressed like in the morning but towards the afternoon I'm like okay everything's done it's gonna be okay and then people see it and they get happy and then I'm happy. This week's App of the Week is acapella. In this app, you can record all of the different parts of any song, including the beats and the vocals, to create your own music video. Here is an example done by your fellow classmate, Nick Dobson. Oh, well, I've done been true, my gal, to you. You're the honey that I love so well. This week's movie of the week is Monsters, Inc. In order to power the city, monsters have to scare children so that they scream. However, the children are toxic to the monsters, and after a child gets through, two monsters realize things may not be what they think. This movie has won one Oscar and also 13 other awards, along with 37 nominations. Boys' bedroom? Boys' bedroom. Out of Magnolia? Magnolia? Give me that. 
It's Mongolia. Mike, does this look like Mongolia to you? The Friday after Thanksgiving, known as Black Friday, can be a hectic, sometimes violent occasion. So we asked Oil City students if they did any Black Friday shopping. Oh, it gives me so, so much anxiety. There's so many people. I'd rather just stay at home. Heck no. No. Yes, I did. No, but I think, it, I think it'd be fun. Yeah. Getting into a fight over something. Throwing some but hands with an old lady. Because you didn't want to get your fight over toys. Well, my mom was with me. Like, I'm saying, like, when I'm by myself, just throw some hands on an old lady or something. That'd be cool. You want to hit an old lady? Yeah, I would definitely punch an old lady in the face. No, Friday, I was just hanging out with my grandma all day. Then there were those who didn't engage in any Black Friday shopping. So we found out what they did instead of shopping. So then when did you do your shopping? Monday. I did Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Where did you go for Cyber Monday? Sorry. Dick Sporting Goods. Is that pretty much it? What kind of stuff were you getting on Dick Sporting Goods? Um, anything that ranged from workout pants to a new pair of shoes to some workout tanks. You know, just everything what that kind I wear. What were you able to grab? They had like 20% off of everything and free shipping. Um, I prefer Cyber Monday because you get the same deals and I can sit at home on my computer in my pajamas. Um, I was out of town, I think, and I spent time with my dad. I didn't go to the stores, so I did it online. Rachel. I work at Sears. Okay. And you work at the Sears up here in Menango County? Cranberry yeah. Mall? Okay. Um, so you worked Black Friday. Tell yeah. us about that. How'd that go? Okay. So, I mean, I worked Thanksgiving night, and that wasn't too bad, but it was bad Friday morning. I came in Friday morning and worked 6 to 2. But our doorbusters ran 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. So at noon, suddenly all the registers in the store just shut down. Corporate level, all the register system crashed. And it took a half hour to get them back up. And everybody was so mad because they didn't know if they were going to get their doorbuster deals. And it was crazy. And I cried. It was terrible. There's a shop down at Votech called Protective Services, and here's a little bit about what they do. <laughs> here's them in their fire gear. Handcuff and search. Using a metal detector. Transporting a patient to the ambulance. And to see more, head on down to Votech. Now that fall sports are over, we're jumping straight into winter sports. We talked to the captains of the sports teams. Feeling pretty good about it. We got a lot of newer kids, a lot of underclassmen, but I feel like if we keep working, we'll be good. I'm feeling pretty good. We're a senior heavy team, and I think we're going to do really good this year. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think that if we all work hard and we put in all the work that we need to, we can make it to playoffs again and even go farther than we did last year. I really didn't get to do much training because I had a torn ligament in my elbow, but we did get to do some open mats and I feel like that did help a little. Well, I go to the Y and shoot a good amount of shots and David fights the rebounds for me. Conditioning, a lot of running, a lot of shooting. Practice that. What does wrestling mean to you? Uh, to me, it is a way to relieve stress and stay in shape all at the same time, and it's just an all-around good sport to be in. What does this sport mean to you? It means everything because it's the only sport I play. What does this sport mean to you? It means a lot because I've been playing it ever since I was like four, so it's all I've ever really known how to do. Can you run us through your practices? Oh, well, normally we, depending on the weather, we either go for a couple mile run outside or run the halls for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we go down to the room, do some more warm up stretches and running, and then depending on when it is, we either condition all practice or just wrestle the whole time. First off, when we get there, we usually do all of our shooting drills. Then we go into defense, and then we run our offenses through and all our set plays, and at the end, we usually run. Can you run us through your practices? Uh, when we get there, we jump rope for like three to four minutes, and then we do our stretches, and then we do like layups and shooting and drills, and then we do foul shots. Can you explain what happens during your matches? During the matches, they start us out in the standing position, then we have two minutes there, 
then if there's no, no points scored, or even if there are, after that two minutes, one of the wrestlers gets to pick top, bottom, or neutral, where they can defer the choice to their opponent and get to pick the next period. Then after that period's over, then the person who didn't get to choose then chooses, and it's a total of six minutes unless it goes into overtime. Start off by getting pumped in the locker room and then go out there and give it all we got, win the game. Can you run us through your games? Before the game, we all listen to our own music and we get our heads focused. And then for pregame, we do stretches and layups and we shoot and then we play our game. Last Wednesday, two shooters opened fire on a holiday party in San Bernardino, California. With 14 dead and 17 injured, the two shooters were killed in a police shootout. Syed Rizwan Farouk and Tashfeen Malik were a married couple. Malik was in America on a K-1 visa or a fiancé visa. The shooting is not yet officially an act of terrorism, although President Obama referred to it as such. Malik was pledged to Islamic State and Farouk had previously connected with terroristic organizations via Facebook. A website and radio station affiliated with the Islamic State confirmed the couple as involved with terrorists. Here are the 14 victims. Mm -hmm. 